Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Swords and Sandals Immortals. Uh, it's a game I got recently and I'm having a lot of fun with. Uh, in particular, we're going to be trying to go with a Robin Hood-esque build, playing as a rogue, using a quarterstaff, using a bow. Uh, I have done a bit of a run so far using it uh, and been having a lot of fun. It's been going really well. So we're going to go ahead and start fresh and show you guys how I went about doing that. Uh, so you can see here, uh, you know, starting a new campaign and, uh, you know, this is early access. There's a lot of things that could change. So, you know, keep that in mind if you're watching this video down the road. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop in. It's the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automatons Mysterious robotic aliens of unknown origin have left our world. Now they have returned, pursued by a devastating enemy known as the Starbound Gladiator. Once hailed a hero, he departed our world to fight amongst the stars. Oh wow, that was quite loud. <laughs> I don't know if that went through for you guys. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so Starbound Gladiator coming to uh, destroy us in 300 days, uh, and we will have one person to fight him, hopefully, you know, me. And, uh, yeah, let's hop in. So there's a lot of different character classes, or uh, species, I guess I should say. Uh, there'll be classes in a minute here. Um, from what I've seen, it doesn't matter a whole lot who you go with, uh, with, you know, some exceptions. Um, you know, as an example, uh, this character is immune to all sonic damage, which is great against bards, but uh, his head's too big to wear a helmet. And so if people target the head, that can be a real problem. Um, so I have previously gone with this group since they have bonus agility, which helps as a rogue, and with archery. Uh, do, do, do. Yes, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and stick with that here. And you know what? I think he's perfect just the way he is. So we're going to move on. So... Uh, your physical attributes actually impact, you know, gameplay. So that if you're taller, you're going to have better parry chance, uh, which is basically if you have a melee weapon in hand. Uh, whereas dodge is, I think, if you don't have a melee weapon in hand, you know, can you avoid getting hit? Um, so I think we're going to spend a lot of time in melee range. Um, and when we're not in melee range, I'm hoping not to really get hit too much. Uh... I do think we're going to be moving around a lot, uh, but at the same time, not having, you know, enough health is a problem, so I'll, I'll just kind of keep this in the middle here. Uh, let's see. Huzzah, I don't know. I don't know what Robin Hood's catch line is. Uh, and we will just call it Rebel Hood. Uh, username is Rebel Luke, so, you know, ha ha ha. It matches. Okay, um, let's get into it. So we're going to go with the Rogue. The reason I like the Rogue is actually a couple of things. One is the cat-like reflexes here, plus five advantage when rolling the starting battle die. It's really nice to be able to go first. It's a free turn over your opponent, so that's really nice. I also like the Shadows and Dust, where you're able to hit your enemy, jump back, uh, looking to pick up a quarter staff. And so the idea here is, you know, with a quarter staff, you can attack from twice as far away. So if you make some space with your opponent, then they have to try and get closer to you, and you can hit them while they're doing that. So just getting in more free hits. So let's continue on. A uh, lot of stats, generally, they kind of do what you might think. Uh, this is very much an active development, so things are changing around. As an example, in a, a really recent patch, range damage got put into strength. Um, as, along with melee damage, so we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of strength here, a little bit of vitality, and a little bit of stamina, um, and then uh, we can get started. Okay, Brander is at peace. Apparently, things have been great. Other than the whole, you know, Starbound Gladiator coming to murder us all. Uh, let's see. 
Apparently we are the chosen one, so we're going to get started on our adventure. Now, what is Mr. Robin Hood trying to do? Yeah, sure, I think he thinks that at least. Maybe it's not true. Um, and let's get these stars. Okay, those uh, let you get special abilities, um, which can be quite useful. So we go into here. 300 days. This is a very nice, you know, gives you a little bit of attention to the game. Hail citizens of Brandor. Uh, looks like we're not the only ones looking to defend the world here, but only one shall be selected as the Great Sentinel. So let's see if we can manage that. Uh, okay. So our first opponent here, Bruce the Useless, I don't think is going to be the one to save this world. So let's um, let's let him down easy. Let's let's let him realize that sooner rather than later. Okay, so there's a bunch of different skills that you can use um, with different benefits. I'm just gonna adjust the sound here real quick. Oh, come now. Let me adjust the sound, please. Okay, there we go. Um, so we'll kind of get into them as we proceed through, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this ability because it does good damage, has good accuracy, and I was really overthinking this fight. Turns out uh, Bruce the Useless was well-named. Pretty garbage. We who are about to die salute you. Defeated our first opponent. <laughs> I think the, the robot is right. That was an inferior enemy. Um, do, do, do. Double checking on something here real quick. Alright, sorry about that. And uh, getting back into it. So, we get a level up from having defeated our opponent. So, let's go ahead and do that. Level ups are fun. You get two additional stat points, you get some HP, you get some stamina, which is you know how you use your attacks and your abilities. Um, and uh, yeah, two stat points here. So let's get some more strength. Um, and a little bit more energy. There we go. Uh, so, the idea is that I want to be using a polearm and a bow, um, so let's get started with leveling up this polearm talent, and we can continue on. Okay, 299 days, no pressure. Hey, old friend. This guy, you know, is very much the flatterer. Though, then he insults our blade, so rude. Okay, uh, just gonna move past this. Da, 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 da. It doesn't say anything too, too interesting, in my opinion. Um, let's see what he has to offer. I think they recently changed up the item selection a little bit, but I'm not especially interested in anything here. At the same time, it is a lot better than what we have now, so yeah, sure, let's pick up this club. I like the club because it does bonus damage against armor, and people tend, not always, but frequently have more armor than they have health. So, you know, that, that bonus against armor can be quite nice. Alright, so we have four opponents available. Let's, uh, let's start with the easiest one and work our way up. After we defeated four opponents, we can fight the regional challenger, but we, we don't have to. We can keep grinding versus the random Joes. Uh, so Lenin the Knight. What is Lenin got going? Okay, so here you can see your opponent's stats versus your own, which is quite interesting in, in my opinion. You can also see what abilities they have. So this guy, for example, has no skills. He's <laughs> level 2, I guess. Uh, he's invulnerable to lightning. A lot of other stuff that I'm going to just kind of glide over. So he's a very charismatic knight. Um, charisma, you know, unsurprisingly, is normally used for bards, also for general magic. Um, so that's kind of interesting, especially since he doesn't have any abilities that can use charisma. So this shouldn't be too hard. 
We got some famous last words uh, to be certain. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, um, I have a very good chance of going first because of two things. One is, whoops, uh, that, you know, rogue attribute, but then the other is because we have a higher agility than our opponent, that I think gives you plus two or minus two, depending on how you're thinking about it. Um, and yeah, so this will do 12 damage, not quite enough to kill, so let's try that. And then just kind of, we'll let him come to us. Oh, wow, this... This guy is smarter. They've been working on the AI. So, all right, whatever. Let's just let's just wrap this up. Uh, might have been cocky here. Goodness. All right. There we go. Worked out. Despite my unnecessary risk taking. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there, there's why I really like the quarter staffs. Um, you can actually hit them when you've kind of taken that step back, and so they have to approach you. And so it just works out really well, in my experience. But yeah, let's see Evzen. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. What's he got going on? So he is a very smart knight, or at least he's got a lot of intelligence. Um, apparently doesn't have any wisdom, though, since none of his abilities use intelligence. So, you know, get out of your ivory tower, man or something. Okay, get to go first, that's great. And sure, let's hit him again. This guy is uh, coming closer to me. Does a beautiful hop right into range of me. So this does 12 damage, we need to do 41 damage in total. Um, doo -doo -doo. So at one point the medium attack was just kind of better, uh, just based on kind of how the numbers shake out, at least that was my impression. But now, so 50% chance, so that's an expected damage of 12 versus this, which is expected damage of less than 12. And we have enough energy, so let's go ahead and use that medium attack. Oof, okay, this is an exciting fight with us missing each other back and forth. He is stressed out by that repeated blows to the head, understandable, good sir. Okay, one more turn, and we can use the shadows and dust, but that will not be necessary. All right, here we go. Uh, now, this is a little bit interesting. So we've, we've reached a new level up, um, and so we have a choice. We can, we can take a level up right now, but that wastes the rest of this day. You can see it's 2 p.m. Uh, on the other hand, we could keep fighting. Uh, now, the upside of that is we get gold, and we also get these skill tokens, which will be useful down the road. But if we lose, then instead of getting to level up, uh, we spend the night nursing our wounds. We still keep the XP, but, you know, days are kind of a resource in this game. Um, I don't think we're going to need that much gold or skill points. I mean, we'll need some, but I, I just want to take this level up. That that's really what it boils down to. So uh, I'm going to get a little more vitality since we don't really have good armor quite yet, and I think it'll be a little while before we can get it. Doing good on energy. I feel like we're doing good on damage. Yeah, I'm going to actually just... Get a little bulk, a uh, little bulkier, a little bit more beef. All right, so I wish I could get a pole arm. I, I should be able to soon, um, but obviously not yet. But that's okay. Oh yes, the training dummy. He's great. So this is a guy who lets you get skills. So we're gonna go say hello to him. What do we got here? So I'm level three. I've got 20 points. So you can see here, he shows you what's coming next, which I like a lot. So he doesn't show you everything, though, because that'd be overwhelming. Uh, but anyway, so um, Attack Torso, I think, is generally the worst of these. I, I tend to more prefer Attack Head or Attack Legs. Uh, the last guy didn't have a helmet, so let's get. we're going to get both. But let's start with getting the Attack Head and hopefully get some easy wins. I'm going to actually go ahead and rearrange this a little bit. I will put this here, put this here. Um, I should put this here for right now. Um, and yeah, let's go. So talking, getting that training does take time. Buying things from the shop also takes time. Uh, there are new items in the shop, though, because... You know, the cycle is, has kind of passed. It's a three-day cycle in principle, but we happen to start on day two of that cycle. So we, we do have new items available. No quarter staff yet. 
Uh, I think at level six, when we get to level six, he'll, he'll have it available along with a bow. So just kind of need to keep trucking. Till then, all right, let's beat up on this guy. He's even kind of more pathetic than, than we are at this point. Um, he's got a spread of abilities, so that's, that should be fun. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> oh wow, we failed the roll. No real consequence. This guy, um, I'm laughing at him. He hits me, but I feel pretty confident here. Let's see. All right, there we go. Sorry, Tiffson. It was, you know, you or me there, buddy. And uh, I don't think it was gonna be me. All right, we've got a wizard here. Let's see if he actually has intelligence or magic spells. They don't always in this game. Uh, for example, this has a wizard with intelligence of one. That's that's awesome. He also doesn't have any magic spells, <laughs> so uh, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, sometimes the character classes in this game and what they actually are good at don't have a lot of relationship with one another, so definitely recommend checking out their stat line. Okay, so here you can see he has a chest plate, but no head, arms, or legs. So let's see if we can give him the old pop on the head. Although, actually, so I want to do that, but uh, when you do an attack and don't specify location, as far as I can tell, it just kind of picks a random location. So this can't kill him with 24 damage, whereas this, if we hit an unarmored piece, should just knock him out in one. So, well, there you go. Didn't happen, but hey, that's fine. 73% uh, chance here on the quick attack, which is our best chance, so... Ooh, blocks me. Block him, though. And bing, bang, boom. Easy. Next. Okay. Uh, very nearly have our level up, so let's do one more fight. And I do not feel ready to challenge the regional champion yet, so I'm going to say no to that. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, what do we got here? So this person has just a lot of stamina, which is pretty useless in this context. Um, since that gives you energy, it does not give you health. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to run out first for this guy. It's not energy. Okay, th actually, maybe I'm wrong. This is a lot of armor here. So, we can get started by giving him the old Shadow Dust. And... That should be his only magic spell, so let's see if he comes to me. Just taking it easy. Alright, here we go. Baited him in with my naps... napping. Hit him in the head, shadow that helm. Alright, let's see if he comes back to me. Oh yes, don't, you know, fear me, I'm just taking a nap. Ha ha ha. And can't hit him in the head, but this should do it. Okay, unless if I miss. Alright, let's just get rested up. This is uh, a little unpleasant here, but that's fine. And I need to do 21 damage to guarantee a kill. Or I need to hit an unarmored piece, so yeah, let's do that. Hey there! <laughs> oh, I don't know why, I, just, I really like the sound effects in this game. Alright, we get the level up, and judging by how we almost lost that, I'm, I'm not going to try and press my luck to get more gold or skill points, just going to take the level up. Okay, what do we want here? So, attack gives you hit chance on both melee and ranged, so that is pretty good for us, and I definitely want to be hitting more, so we're going to do that. Going to get the polearm mastery some more, and let's see what else. Ooh. That's true, I don't like my rags. Thank you for pointing that out, Weaponsmith. This guy definitely likes negging you. He really puts you down, and then tries to sell you something to pick you back up. <laughs> uh, Alright, we have an armor here. Apparently he also doesn't like the weaponsmith, so I like this guy already. 
Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what we can buy. So 1,400 gold here. So let's first check out the weaponsmith. Though I've already looked, and there won't be anything different. So that was kind of dumb. This does use time, but not that much time, so shouldn't really matter. Uh, armorer, what do you got for me, buddy? Okay, so there's level 4 items and level 1 items. So like the level 1 boot costs 61, gives you 4 armor. Whereas level 4 boot costs 208, gives you 12 armor. So which is more efficient here? So this is about 3 times as expensive and does 3 times as much. Okay, so they're really comparable and... I will, you know, get value out of the level 4 stuff for longer, so let's plan on getting those pieces of gear. How much can I afford? Uh, let's get a good breastplate. Oh, I actually have a breastplate. So we're going to fill in the missing pieces of the gear, and then upgrade the other pieces of the gear. It does kind of matter where you put your armor, um, but... <laughs> it's hard to know where you want it in advance. So in that sense, it, it, it doesn't matter since it's kind of random where they're going to hit you. Um, okay, a little bit of money left. All right, there we go. So now we have armor on most of our body. Not all of it, but most of it. Maybe all of it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Do, do, do. do you have anything else I can afford and want? Nope. Nope. I could pick up a shield, but I'm not planning. Core staff is two-handed, unsurprisingly. Same with a bow. So I'm going to try and skip over the shield if I can get away with it. Um, I do not want to fight the regional challenger until we've got that quarter staff and bow going. So let's just beat up some noobs here. So this is the Golem Knight. Has is a charismatic, high defense person, um, but he doesn't look like he has armor. So I, I have a distinctive advantage, I would say. And I also get to go first. Um, yep, no armor. Twenty-four damage to to knock him out. There we go. Yes, these fights can sometimes be a little repetitive, um, but they also can be really quick. So. I don't know. I like it. Nope. Let's uh, let's take on this rogue. What's she got going on? So she's got unnecessary intelligence, some strength. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it too much at this point. Okay. Win the roll. I don't know why their rogues don't get the bonus to uh, initiative, but I'm not complaining. So 58. Health, 10 armor, so cannot one-shot this person. So let's see if we can bait him. Oh, I thought, okay, I thought that was a female character, but uh, anyway, we're going to move on. Okay, I apparently should have actually read what this person's stats were, because she's he's a wizard of sorts. Um, Alright, well, that's okay. We got them pretty low here, so 65% chance to do 24 damage, or could swing for the fences to do the full killing blow. Let's just do the full reliable. Oh yeah, lovely. So taking a nap, which greatly reduces our hit chance. So problem solved. All right, easy peasy. Okay. Do do do. So priests can be kind of interesting. They tend to have more of the, you know, ranged magic attacks. Though not always, as you probably have discerned. This one's extremely agile, which means he can move very far, jump really high. And if he had a ranged weapon, that would help him hit me. But he, he doesn't. Uh, you may have noticed I needed to get an 8 there, and that is, instead of me getting kind of a 2-point advantage from having more agility, he gets a 2-point advantage from having more agility. So that's, that's a four-point swing. Okay, so he comes back into my face. I miss. Because I'm missing, I get stressed. It, this game likes to kick you when you are down. Here's kind of your morale bar. Uh, now, the good news is he only has ten stamina left. I wasn't paying attention to how much he used on each hit, but it must have been a good amount. So I'm actually not too worried here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that 
knockback <laughs> was actually really annoying for me. But anyway, let's just take our nap too. Uh, he gets in our face and 21 damage, but he's got the armor. All right, well, let's hope we get lucky. There we go. Okay. Get that that juicy level up. All right. So going to be level five here, one level away from what I am expecting to be able to get the quarter staff. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So so far, stamina has not been a problem. Uh, let's just get let's get a little stronger. I like uh, I like doing damage. That benefits both the melee and the ranged attacks. So that. Will work well. Uh, so we are one day away from getting new items. I'm a little tempted to try my luck against the champ, but eh, let's let's give it let's get one more level. Let's get the new gear, and then we can also get new skills here. So this is a change they just made. Actually, uh, is you actually need a skill to switch between ranged and melee weapons. Uh, previously, you needed level 12. Now you only need level 6. It makes it a lot more straightforward to do a ranged character. Um, I do want to get another one of these, I think. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up attack legs. That seems good. So... Can equip that. I could have bought more armor. Probably should have, but uh, eh, so it goes. I'm not too worried about Chad. <laughs> I don't think he's very well named. Uh, but. Let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he, you know, crits me to death. Wow, quick block. That was a terrible jump. I'm not going to waste time on this. I'm just going to kind of charge in. And there we go. Farewell, Chad. We hardly knew thee. Okay, what's next? Level 3 warrior. Okay, I really should buy armor for the next fight forgot again, but that's okay. I don't think this Golem Warrior, he does have a lot of defense, but uh, that's okay. Okay, win that roll. So if you get a 20, you get extra skill points, which is kind of nice. He doesn't have a helmet. See, kids, this is why you need to wear a helmet. And also shin guards. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Okay, well, that's fine. We should be okay here. I only need to do 10 damage. So let's see if this does the trick. There we go! Huzzah, indeed. Problem solved. Okay. So I'm actually going to get the armor this time. I'm not going to forget again. So what do I want to get here? I want to get... Yeah, let's basically if it says level 4, I want to get it. Other than the shield, which I am not going to get on principle. So we can go through and sell this stuff. I actually like doing it since it just makes the inventory a little tidier. Um, okay, all that is done. So let's get in a couple more fights. Hoping to get, I was hoping to get another level up. doesn't look like that's actually going to happen here. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe uh, these next guys will give us more experience since they're... Closer in level. <laughs> okay, he's got full armor. So let's just do that. He's supposed to be a bard, but doesn't really have much in terms of bard skills. Oh, right, he did have a fireball. And a chill bolt. Okay, well, we're going to move forward now. This is not going as well as it could, but that's fine. Hit those legs, blocks. Okay, but he's going to have to take a nap here, so we're going to get right in his business. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's have some fun here. Oh. <laughs> okay, 
So this game, it's not like, it's not like the most amazing gameplay, but it's just fun. I just like it. I don't know what to tell you. It's just very satisfying to just hit people real, real hard. Oh boy. Okay. He's got four health left. Uh, <laughs> this is a bad time to take a nap, buddy. Uh, I do appreciate you walking up to me to take a nap in my face, though. That that made this a lot easier to close out, so thank you, uh, guy whose name I already forgot. Uh, okay, one more fight. Uh, Seamus, let's do it, buddy. For a knight, you look very badly armored and are very much into the attack. Okay, so anything else interesting? He does firebolt range attack. He can fart on me from a distance, so I don't want to do the thing where I create space. I just want to stay in his face and punch him. Or club him, I guess. Get a little unlucky. He gets first turn, but misses, so that doesn't matter. No helmet, no leg guard, so... Uh, gonna try to teach him the error of his ways in that regard. Walks up to me despite the fact he has a ranged attack and I don't. It's extremely sporting of you, Seamus. I really appreciate that error on your part. Okay, so we don't get the level up, uh, and it's 9 p.m. Now, in this situation, I do like trying to fight the boss, since it's not like I'm going to level up at night anyway. Although, actually... Anyway, there's something else I could have done, but this is fine. Let's see, let's see if we can beat this guy up. Local entertainer who boasts of being the largest man in Brandor, despite his diminutive stature. Ha ha ha! Oh boy, this is this guy's a real lazy man, and I, I'm loving the hammer. We might be able to get the hammer as a reward, which is kind of fun. Uh, human bard. Right, he's an extremely charismatic fellow. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned uh, is there are different air locations, so this my, the race I'm playing gets an advantage in hills. I, I don't know why he's getting a hit chance bonus, but anyway. Alright, what does he have? He's got shield block, which means he can basically uh, take all his damage on his shield until it breaks. Aria of Respite gives him a bunch of stamina back. He can give up, he can taunt me. Alright, he's not that great at ranged, but neither am I, so let's see how this goes. All right, there we go. So he doesn't have a lot of stamina here, so he also doesn't have chest armor. Interesting. Okay, so let's see if we can tire him out a little bit. He uses 23 stamina on a hit, which means if he hits us, if he hits us again, he won't have enough stamina to hit us a third time, assuming that I'm not forgetting about anything. Okay, definitely won't have stamina, so we're gonna we're gonna rust in his face. Oh, okay, so I was hoping he would rest, which means we would get that bonus chance to hit. But I forgot about that Aria of Repose, which is what he has just done. Whatever. Um, still going pretty okay here. <laughs> Notwithstanding my lack of chest armor. Definitely don't want to hit him in the legs, so yeah, whatever, let's just do this. Okay, 42 damage remaining. Hit him on that head. Alright, here we go. And there's that nap I was waiting to see. Goodbye, huge Charles. Uh, I don't know what to say to you, buddy. That that was uh, a little easier than I had remembered. Maybe I, I didn't need to get quite so leveled up, but anyway. Uh, it's better safe than sorry. So I should be able to get the quarter staff tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and take these stars... And the bonus attack. Maybe the gold would have been better, but you tend to get a pretty good amount of gold in this game. Oh, right, they're abandoning me. Okay, well, that's a little annoying. But that's fine. Just going to go over to wherever they're going, and I can get the gear that I want there. So let's do that. Go into Shackleford. Um... And actually, this is a great place to stop this video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know, do the whole like, subscribe, comment thing. We'd definitely appreciate it. And yeah, hope to catch you on the next one.